Welcome to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show, a real estate investment program. Listen and learn how to use real estate to build wealth and passive income streams for you and your family. We bring you experts every day to discuss and answer your questions on everything from single family homes all the way up to 600 plus unit apartment complexes. And now, the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Welcome to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. I'm Mike Harrison, and as always, we're working on your financial freedom. It's my privilege to be joining you today, and I want to thank you for tuning in. As I get to the nuts and bolts of my show today, I have a question for you. How engaged are you as a real estate investor? What I really want to say is, are you all in? All in, 100% committed to seeing this through. Is real estate investing a daily passion? Or is this just a part-time gig for you? Or is real estate investing maybe just an afterthought? Maybe you've got investments all over the place and Hey, why not? We'll stick a little bit in real estate, see what happens with that. Or are you the person that keeps telling yourself, I want to own a rent home one day. But here we are. You've been telling yourself this for two years. Still, no rent house. Maybe what I'm describing is an evolution for some people. It was for me personally. You see, from 2004 to 2010, I always told myself, boy, I'd like to own a a rental property. In 2010 and 2011, I finally made that a reality. I purchased my first rental property, ineffectively, I might add, in a self-directed IRA, but I didn't know what I didn't know at the time. It was still a step forward, so I'll take it put my toe in the water, so to speak. By the way, I was listening to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show from 2008 to 2010, straight, all the time when I was on the road. I still didn't make a move during that time. It was soon after 2010, maybe late 2010, when I did get that property, finally. In 2013, I joined Lifestyles Unlimited, maybe... Call that my phase two of real estate investing. From 2013 to 2016, I went on to purchase 11 rental properties. But you know what? Looking back, I was still a part-timer regarding real estate investing. Even with those 11 properties, I was not fully engaged, to use a corporate buzzword. I was not all in. I was satisfied. I was complacent. My cash flow annually was in the tens of thousands. Yet I failed to recognize the incredible opportunity that stood before me. You see, during that time, I had a solid corporate job. I made good money. The bills were paid. Rent homes were cash flowing. Really didn't have a care in the world. I would only attend our case study at our Dallas office, maybe two or three times a year. And if you don't know what case study is, it's when we literally have people come up in front of the group. We do it at every Lifestyles Unlimited office around the country once a month. And these people show us. They show us their investments. Typically, it'll be two single-family case studies and one multi-family case study at, at these events. But everyday people... Here's the property I bought. Here's what it looked like when I bought it. Here's who helped me buy it. Here's how much out of pocket. Here's how much equity capture. Here's how much we're making monthly. Here's what the property's worth today. This is how we did it. Case studies are great, but I wasn't participating in them, at least not on a serious basis at that time. You see, my original goal was to own 10 rental properties once I joined Lifestyles Unlimited took the Financial Freedom Seminar, learned how to do this effectively, I went on and purchased 11 houses. If you know me, that's just how I am. 
But at the time, I was asleep at the wheel. I did not recognize the magnitude of full engagement as a real estate investor. I was the epitome of this saying, what gets in the way of a great life? A good life. And what does that really mean? It means if you have a good life, you need to step out of the good life to go create the great life. That's what that means. Get out of your comfort zone, change gears, do something different, go create a great life. Is this you? Or are you the one who is what gets in the way of a good life? An okay life. Again, if you have an okay life, you need to step away from that. Go create the good life. Build. Grow. But I wasn't growing. I had become very complacent with the 11 properties. Again, my goal was 10. I hit 11. And then I did not reevaluate my goals. I didn't step back and look at it. Let that sink in. For just under two years, my portfolio did not change. Why? Because I didn't stop, reevaluate, set new goals. I had a problem. I didn't even realize I had a problem. We're going to get into that in the second segment. But what was going on? Looking back, I really have no excuse other than complacency, the aforementioned what gets in the way of a great life, a good life. But you know what I really think it was in the back of my mind? I knew if I set new goals, then I would have to leave my comfort zone. I'd have to implement a completely different approach. And looking back, I think that was what was going on. I just didn't want to do it because I knew it would involve more work on my end. It would involve massive change. It would involve a completely different approach. So maybe I just buried my head in the sand and avoided it. But the answer doesn't matter. What matters is that I needed a direction. I needed new goals to hit. I needed a new strategy. I needed the drive to implement the strategy, most importantly. We're going to come back and talk about that drive. My name is Mike Harrison. This is the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Welcome back to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Now, let's get back to your map to financial freedom. Welcome back to the show. I'm Mike Harrison. If you have any questions, concerns, thoughts regarding real estate investing, regarding Lifestyles Unlimited, please send me an email. I'd I do enjoy getting feedback from our listeners. My email address is askmike at luinc.com, askmike at luinc.com. I'm a real estate investor in both single-family properties and apartment communities. I began, as I mentioned, 11 years ago, 11 short years ago. Today... Today, I'm a partner in over 3,500 doors of real estate. I expect that'll be over 4,000 doors of real estate in a very short amount of time. But you see, it grows. It grows and it grows and it grows faster each and every year. Now, if you missed the first part of this show, how can you find it? Three ways. One, YouTube channel. Go to the YouTube channel, type in Lifestyles Unlimited, type in Dell Walmsley, D-E-L-1-L, Walmsley, W-A-L-M-S-L-E-Y. He's the founder of Lifestyles Unlimited, or you can type in Lifestyles Unlimited there. But YouTube's so much more than just this show. They have all kinds of snippets from case studies. They've got videos of people walking houses. Here's the property we're purchasing. Here's what we're going to do. There's an, an incredible amount of educational information there at our YouTube channel. My favorite way is the podcast app. I subscribe to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. It uploads automatically. Then when I have free time, windshield time, going for a walk outside, working in the yard, what have you, I catch up on the podcast there. 
And then, as always, the easiest way, go straight to lifestylesunlimited.com. Click on the, I believe it's a podcast button now. I used to say radio, but click on that, and you'll find not only my show, but you'll find the shows from the other host and Dell Walmsley himself. So in the previous segment, I was discussing how the earlier phase of my real estate investing, I became complacent. I had set a goal for myself. Once I joined Lifestyles Unlimited to purchase 10 properties, I purchased 11. But at the time, I was not fully engaged. I was not all in. I was complacent. I was satisfied. And I think looking back, I realize what had happened was I I had the good corporate job, which we'll discuss here in a little bit what happened, how that changed. But I was very complacent. The houses were doing well. The job was doing well. The bills were getting paid. Times were good. At least we thought times were good. But I realized that to grow out of that, that stage I was in, I would need to have a drive and a desire to implement a new strategy. And I didn't have that drive or desire at the time. But to have that drive or desire, once you have that, once you say, okay, we're going to change, what does that look like? Well, really, I call it the life change roadmap. It's problem, diagnosis, solution, implementation. You may want to write this down. P-D-S-I for short. Problem, diagnosis, solution, implementation. Those four steps are crucial. First, you must realize you have a problem. Previously, I didn't realize I had a problem. Next, you need to get a proper diagnosis. Sounds pretty easy. I've got an example I'll share with you. Maybe not so much. Then you need to understand the solution. The solution is going to come from that diagnosis, from that proper diagnosis. And then lastly, you implement that solution. And that implementation is the hardest part, by far. Hear me out. I've got an example. Let's say you have a problem. Your foot hurts every time you go on a long walk. But you're stubborn. You self-diagnose. You blame the pain on your shoes. So you get some new shoes. Three months later, your foot still hurts. This time you self-diagnose again. And your self-diagnosis, you say, well, I'm just getting old, and so this is natural. So you take some Advil before you walk every time. And this goes on for another year, and the pain persists. So now you tell your neighbor, and your neighbor, not being a foot doctor, he self-diagnoses the problem for you, and he says, hey, hey man, you just need to lose 15 pounds and stretch before you walk. So you do that over the next six months, yet the pain continues. Finally, back to that desire, that drive to seek a new strategy. Finally, you make an appointment to see a podiatrist, also known as expert, foot expert, doctor. The podiatrist diagnoses the problem, and the doctor tells you, well, looking at this x-ray, you have a large bone spur under your ankle bone. Notice in that example, it took 18 months to get a proper diagnosis. So lesson one, I want you to understand in this example, to seek that proper diagnosis, you must go speak to an expert in the field, the expert in the field that you need to have a solution from. Keeping the same example on the foot, let's continue. The doctor then says the solution is that you will need surgery, and as a result, You'll be off your feet for three weeks while your foot heals. If you do this, then you will be pain-free. Then your foot will no longer hurt. And you'll be able to walk long distances pain-free. Problem, diagnosis, solution, implementation. 
solution could also be viewed as the goal. The goal in this example is to walk without pain. And once you have that proper diagnosis, it's interesting. The solution is really self-evident. So understanding the solution is easy once you have the proper diagnosis. The, the, the important part of that chain there is proper diagnosis. Now, the solution itself may be difficult or impossible to realize. Proper diagnosis leads to crafting the solution. Again, finding what the solution is is easy. Achieving the solution may not be easy, or it may even be impossible. You may not have the resources to implement that solution. Understand that, but understand the solution. Step four, implementation, surgery. Why did I say it's the most difficult step? Well, in this example, maybe you can't take time off for work to get the surgery. Maybe you don't have insurance. Maybe you can't afford to pay for the surgery. Are you mentally committed to getting the surgery? Is this something you desire? My name is Mike Harrison. We're going to continue talking about the Life Change Roadmap. This is the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Listening to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show will change your life. We will teach you how to create wealth and passive income so you can be financially free. And now, back to your host. Welcome back to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show, where, as always, we're working on your financial freedom. I'm Mike Harrison. I want to thank you for tuning in today. We're talking about P. D-S-I, Life Change Roadmap. Problem, Diagnosis, Solution, Implementation. How do you change your life? Well, understand you have to have a reason to change your life. What is the problem? Get a diagnosis. With the diagnosis, craft a solution. And with the solution, you can figure out what it takes to implement that solution. Implementation is the hardest part. Sometimes it's impossible. You may not have the resources to implement it at the time. You may need to gather those resources. It may take you a little longer than you want. You may not have the desire to implement that solution. And that solution might be impossible. So we were talking about someone with a foot that hurt. And at first they said, oh, it hurts because my shoes are bad. So I got new shoes and that didn't solve it. So then they decided to take Advil. Maybe I'm just getting old. So they took the Advil. Pain was still there. Didn't solve it. Talked to the neighbor. He says to stretch and lose weight. That didn't solve it. Finally went to an expert. Expert provided solution. You have a bone spur and need surgery. And maybe that person might not be mentally committed to getting that surgery. If that's the case, then they're going to decide to deal with the foot pain. Now, we're going to get to real-life real estate examples within this PDSI. Stay with me. Let's talk about maybe a quick example. How can that implementation be impossible? If you can't, if you can't imagine that or, or see it in your mind's eye, let me give you a real easy example. Let's say you're hiking in the jungle in South America, and you get bit by a poisonous snake. That is a problem. The diagnosis from the expert, it may be the guy that's with you in the jungle, and the diagnosis is, you are going to die. The solution, unless you get an injection of anti-venom, and oh, by the way, we need to do that within the next seven minutes. The solution is, you will live if you get the anti-venom in seven minutes. How do we implement that solution? Well... If the closest anti-venom is 100 miles away, well, it's going to be impossible for you to implement that solution. In that case, you will fail to reach your goal, that solution, to live. It would be impossible. Now, that's a real basic understanding there. 
where the solution's impossible. But I wanted you to get that visual as we go forward discussing this problem, diagnosis, solution, implementation. So with me, I succeeded at my first challenge in, in real estate. That's, keep that in mind. In 2005, I was telling myself I want a rental property. And then as I went forward, by 2010, I realized I really needed to get a rental property. Why? Because my problem was, I realized at the time, when I turned 60, my net worth would not be large enough to retire, at least on the terms that I had set for myself. My diagnosis was that I needed to grow my net worth at a much faster rate. My solution? Buy 10 rental properties. Implementation? Begin the home buying cycle. My implementation changed once I joined Lifestyles Unlimited and became more effective and learned how to do this properly, how to buy rental properties, how to put a great resident in there, how to fix these rental properties up, how to make them best product, best price. You see, I started with a self-directed IRA, finally joined Lifestyles Unlimited, and then essentially changed gears within how I was buying these properties. But the solution was the same. I needed some rental properties in order to grow my net worth at a much faster rate. But once I found Lifestyles Unlimited, I implemented that strategy. My goal was 10 homes. I bought 11. Then what happened? I sat back and rested because I knew I'd have more than enough time to retire. And I was happy with my corporate job. I was not paying attention to what Lifestyles Unlimited teaches. I was asleep at the wheel. As I mentioned earlier, I was not all in. I was not fully engaged. What a mistake that was. It took about a year and a half for my wife to realize we have some other problems creeping into our life. You see, my workload corporately became extreme. I was traveling every week. I was never home, no time for the family. My kids were getting to that age where all three were involved in sports. They were involved in after-school activities, various interests. These activities were always in the afternoons after school, sometimes into the evenings, many times over the weekend. Life was not getting cheaper, and boy, is that real today. Vacations were being skipped. My real estate portfolio was getting a bit long in the tooth, starting to get some dead equity. Some of these properties I was holding were approaching that five-year hold time, and something we teach here at Lifestyles Unlimited. Why is that important? Well, after about that fifth year, you're probably going to need to repaint, new carpet. It's going to need a little bit of a lift. So typically, we're going to sell that property by year five. Not always, but again, it's a mathematical evaluation We look at it, you want to turn that property, sell that property, and go buy two more properties. I wasn't doing that. So it was then that I reevaluated. And I guess we're looking for a time frame, we can call this mid to late 2017. My wife and I sat down and we decided, well, we wanted to retire sooner than 60. I wanted time to spend with the family. I knew that we would need more money as our lifestyle desires changed. And as the kids were getting older, we said, heck, if we're going to go on vacation, let's go on some serious vacations. There will be a day when our children have their own families and they will not be around. The window is now. And oh, by the way, we needed additional money. There was braces. There was surgeries. Cars. One day, I hope, Pay for two marriages for my daughters. So we sat down and applying the life change roadmap, problem, diagnosis, solution, implementation, boiled down those issues, and I came up with the 
following methodology within the PDIS problem. We did not have enough cash flow and net worth to cover our new desires or needs. Diagnosis. I was not financially free. I want you to note here something very, very important. Where did that diagnosis come from? Well, at the time, it came from my mentor, a gentleman by the name of Charles Ho. He's a multifamily, or he was a multifamily mentor here in Dallas-Fort Worth. He's a lead investor. I made two appointments with Charles. I met with him each time. Also went through several discussions with him, phone calls, text. I would visit with Charles at Lifestyles Unlimited events. You see, Charles is an expert. He's financially free. He is living the life. And what's the solution Charles gave me? He said, I need to invest in multifamily to grow my wealth at a faster rate and create greater cash flow long term. And I need to stay focused. How did I implement that? Begin immediately. Now remember, implementation is the most difficult step. You must have the desire and the drive to do so. Many people do not implement, even after they know this decision. But I did. My name is Mike Harrison. We'll be right back. This is the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Welcome back to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. It's time to turn up the volume and fine-tune your passive income plan so you can create the lifestyle you've always wanted. Welcome back to the show. I'm Mike Harrison. If you have any questions about Lifestyles Unlimited, about real estate investing, about the PDSI methodology that I discussed, the life change roadmap, problem diagnosis, solution, implementation, please send me an email, askmike at luinc.com, askmike at luinc.com. How can you get started in real estate investing? Start with the free workshop. Come see what we do, how we do it. Make sure this is something you want to engage in. And if you do it, I recommend becoming fully engaged. I recommend going all in. You do that at lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. Come check it out. If it's something that you feel you want to begin to change your life with by investing in single-family properties, by investing in multifamily properties, well, that's what we teach here at Lifestyles Unlimited. You can join our program at givemetotalfreedom.com, givemetotalfreedom.com. If you use the promo code SAVEBIG, S-A-V-E-B-I-G, all capital letters, it will drop the price to $297 for only two years. $297. My friends, that's much less expensive than it was when I joined. So back to my change when I entered what I'll call my third phase of real estate investing. My first phase Bought the rental property within a self-directed IRA. I thought that was the best way. I was kind of teaching myself as I went along. I really didn't have a mentor. I didn't have any education. I just knew I wanted to own a rental property. By the way, it took me several years to get to that point, but I did take that step. I have no regrets whatsoever. It would have been nice to jump into real estate investing and understand how to do it properly, but once I learned how to do it properly, once I joined Lifestyles Unlimited and and received that education, met with those mentors, discussed and created a strategy, well, then I took off. And my first, well, in this phase two, my goal was to buy 10 houses. I went on and bought 11 houses. Then what happened? I became very complacent. I didn't realize that problems were creeping up on me, but problems were creeping creeping up on me. I had that, I guess I was the epitome of that good life. What gets in the way of a great life? A good life. Took about another year and a half to two years to say, wait a second, we need to change this. I'm not really fully embracing all that real estate investing has to offer. 
came up with a problem diagnosis solution implementation plan with a mentor, an expert, a real estate investing expert, a gentleman by the name of Charles Ho, and I'm forever grateful to this man. He's a great guy, very nice, very smart, very savvy individual. Came up with this strategy. Harrison, you got to get out of single-family properties, and you need to go multifamily properties. What would it take for me to understand and implement this new strategy? Sounds easier said than done. I told you implementation was the hardest part. I would need to sell my rent houses. But what happens when I sold those rental properties? My cash flow decreases and ultimately disappears. Selling my houses would also come with capital gains taxes. Understand, you cannot 1031 a single-family home into a syndication. I was looking to go passive because I was busy. Passive investing is good for someone who doesn't have a lot of time. I didn't have a lot of time. Still involved very much corporately. So I said, well, I don't have enough time to go as a lead myself because a lead's a full-time job. I don't have what I thought was the skills and the ability at that time to take on an independent rental owner role to buy an apartment community for myself. So I said... We will start with passive. This is a good way to get started. So I would need to sell my homes. Selling my homes would cut off my cash flow because I no longer own the property. So I'm not getting that extra bump monthly, that extra four or 500 per house. Some houses I had were paying even more. So we're going backwards at this time. If you're just grading it on cash flow, we're going backwards. Oh, and by the way, bam, here's these capital gains taxes. You need to pay those. I also realized for the near term, I would need to continue to work my W-2 job longer and harder. Why? Because I needed to replace the cash flow that we had become complacent and accustomed to. What else? To participate in multifamily investments, I would need to re-engage with Lifestyles Unlimited. There was another level of education associated with being at the preferred membership level so that I could participate in syndications as a passive investor. And if you don't know what that is, a passive investor is somebody who says to a lead investor, your business plan on this particular apartment community that you are looking to purchase looks like a good plan to me. I agree. I would like to be part of this investment. Here is a check please count me in as a passive investor in this deal. We literally do nothing other than that. But I needed to learn how to do that. So completely new education process that would need to be completed. What else is part of this implementation? Remember, this is the hardest step, implementation. Sometimes that diagnosis or or realizing that you even have a problem is a hard step, but implementation sometimes is much greater. Well, there's fees, more fees. The preferred level is a more expensive level. Would need to pay those. Again, my cash flow is disappearing because I'm selling my houses. I'm having to work harder at my W-2 job. But I knew the sacrifice at that time was going to be better down the road. Part of this implementation, I would need to reach out to lead investors and engage them in dialogue. I would need to get to know these folks. How do I do that? Again, engaging with Lifestyles Unlimited functions. I would need to attend multifamily road trips, attend the case studies. What does that mean? It means I was taking time away from work when my work was very important. But it had to be done, and I began in January of 2018. I did just that. I implemented the beginning of a solution. I began down that path of fulfilling my new goals. And oh, by the way, it was the best move I ever made. So at the beginning of this show, I ask a question. I ask you, how engaged are you as a real estate investor? Better yet, are you all in? Because you see, I was not all in. Until 2018, January of 2018, you can bet I'm all in as a real estate investor today. When I became fully engaged, 
I started taking the steps necessary to meet my goals, fulfill the solution, and then my life began to change, just like my mentor, Charles Ho, said I would. But how did I get here? How did I get to where I am today? It starts with that life change roadmap. Problem, diagnosis, solution, implementation. And if you have not written that down, you may want to. P-D-S-I. First, you must realize you have a problem. Next, you must get a proper diagnosis, not one from your neighbor, not one that you self-diagnose. You don't know what you don't know. Go find the person or the individual that does what you want to do. Go find them. If you want to be financially free, go find that person. Next, understand that solution. The solution's no good if you don't understand it. And then lastly, implement that solution immediately if you have the resources to do so. Some people never define the problem properly. For instance, people that say, well, I can't put enough in my 401k or I don't earn enough money to and and fill in the blank. Take a vacation. I don't earn enough money to buy a new car. I don't earn enough money to fix the house up. I don't earn enough money for my kids to go do extracurricular sports. They may say we struggle to pay our bills. People may say, I hate my job. People may say, I don't have enough time for real estate. Those aren't the actual problems. You have to define the problem. Get the proper diagnosis. If someone's saying, I don't have enough to put into my 401k, what they're really saying is, I'll never save enough to retire. That's really the problem. It's not that you can't feed your 401k. You're not going to save enough to retire. That's really the problem if you look at it. And I may say, why are you even feeding a 401k? Who told you that was the goal? You see, they tell you to feed the 401k, then you'll have enough money to retire. Why don't we just go straight to create enough money to retire? Wouldn't that be a better goal? And then begin to change your life. So understand that problem. My name is Mike Harrison. I want you to do something today your future self will thank you for. I want you to change your life, and I want you to go all in. And I want you to understand it's not the money. It's the lifestyle. Make it a great day. We'll see you next week. The Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult a professional regarding your personal investment needs. Nothing presented on the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show constitutes an endorsement, recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or security.